All right, here we are. It's uh, Wednesday night and we are about halfway through Rawfest and tonight we have Caitlin from Primal with us. So welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. I think this is a great opportunity to talk about some really awesome things that um, Primal does as a company, you guys do as a whole. Um, and then also what you guys have for cats and dogs. But we have we have kind of some slides to go through and some fun things to talk about tonight. If you guys are interested in learning about Primal Raw, today's your day. Um, we're going to go a little bit over the history of the company and then how to build a bowl. So if you have a cat or dog at home and you're looking to add some fresh food, Caitlin probably has a solution for you. So that's cool. Um, but we are halfway through Raw Fest. If you guys haven't seen or heard about Raw Fest at the store, um, this is our month that we celebrate raw. We have 10 days of raw at the store where we have samples. We have um, some different promotions from different companies. Um, each day we have just some really awesome ways to incorporate fresh food into your cat or dog's diet. So, and we just uh, they announced that we're extending Raw Fest through August 30th. So we're going to have some specials through the end of the month. If you haven't been able to make it in or can't make it in by Sunday was is when it was supposed to end. So, all right, Caitlin. So if you could start with telling us a little bit of, well, introduce yourself. Tell us what you do for Primal um, and how long you've been with them. And then, of course, uh, your pets at home. Sure. So my name is Caitlin and I've been with Primal for about a year and a half now and I'm the retail training specialist for the Midwest. So I go around and just educate uh, all the different employees at different pet stores on Primal and all the benefits of adding fresh to your pet's diet. That's um, awesome. Yeah, I have three dogs of my own, Polly, Oakley, and Dexter. Two mutts and then a little French bulldog and yeah. they all Funny. They're all the same. Dexter now? He's got to be only a couple months, isn't he? He's about five months. Is he still a big fluff ball? Uh, he's not super fluffy anymore. It's kind of funny. Oh, kind of turned into a smooth coat. Interesting. Yeah. Fun. Um, and then and then you have um, experience with cats as well. So I know, you know, raw feeding for cats can be super important in getting fresh food into their diet as well. So I know you have some good experience. So if people have questions, you're welcome to ask que cat questions too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, cool. All right. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit of history about Primal? So I know um, when I started my store way back then, um, when I opened the retail store in 2007, Primal was pretty much one of the only three companies that were really doing raw in um, in the retail setting. So tell us a little bit about the history. Yeah, so Primal actually got started in 2001. Um, the owner of the company, his name is Matt Koss. He started it when his dog got really sick and traditional uh, veterinary foods and medicine wasn't working for his dog. He was a in-home chef at the time and a food scientist, so he knew a lot about ingredients and how they could actually really help your pet and benefit them in the long run. So he worked with a natural vet and came up with the formula that Primal is today um, and started making that for his dog, saw how much it helped her and all the improvement in her. Um, so he was like, this is really awesome and started selling it out of little Tupperware containers out at Golden Gate Park in California. Um, 19 years later, Primal's in pretty much every brick and mortar pet store across the United States. So it's pretty awesome. Um, Matt is still the sole owner of Primal, so you know that the quality hasn't changed, which is pretty unique for our company. That's awesome. That's, um, I think Matt's story resonates with a lot of um, people that are ending up at the pet bistro looking for ways to improve their pet's diet. They either have health complaints or um, situations where it's, they go to the vet repeatedly and don't get any answers or improvement. And so they start seeking solutions on their own. And I, I think that's a lot of people's story. So that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so Primal is, uh, really has been talking about building, building a better bowl, you know, putting, some fresh food in your, in your pet's diet. So what are some of the options that Primal has um, for, for both cat and dog owners? I know there's we have a lot of different things that we love to talk about at the Pet Bistro, but um, we'll see what Primal has. 
Yeah, so the first one we'll talk about is our goat milk. Um, let's see if I can get this little slide to pop up here. Yeah. Can you guys see that? Um, not yet. Okay, hold on. Goat's milk is by far one of um, our favorite things at the Pet Bistro. There's the slide. Um, just because it's so easy to get cats and do dogs to like it. Yeah, so goat milk is really beneficial for your pets. So not only is it going to be added moisture, which is really, really important for dogs and cats, especially dogs and cats that eat a kibble diet, adding in moisture is really beneficial for them. Um, it's full of live enzymes and probiotics, so it's really great for helping with digestion um, and any type of upset stomach that your pet might be having. Um, what's unique about the goat milk is... Um, Goat milk actually has smaller fat molecules than a cow's milk, so it makes it easier for your pet to digest. Um, I know a lot of people think that dogs and cats can't drink milk because of the lactose intolerant that dogs and cats can be, but the goat milk um, with the, the smaller fat molecules and it's not pasteurized, it makes it really easy for your pets to digest. Um, we also add in ginger, turmeric, and cinnamon to our goat milk. So those are extra anti-inflammatories, antimicrobials, and some stomach settling aids. Um, so this is really beneficial for um, dogs and cats to uh, aid with digestion and just different things like that. Plus it's really flavorful and a lot of pets go crazy for it. That's awesome. So um, just to fill everybody in right now. So right now we have goat's milk. Goat's milk comes in a 16 ounce container and a 32 ounce container. So a pint and a quart size. Um, depending on how fast you would go through it. And really exciting, a half gallon is coming soon. So people with multi-pet households, or if um, you go through goat's milk like crazy, like most of us do, then that's going to be a new size option here. Do we know how soon? Um, probably like mid-fall. Okay, perfect. So that's like around the corner. Yeah, very soon. <laughs> and right now we have $2 off on each size and you can get that up to six containers worth. So that's a really phenomenal option. Um, I love the goat's milk. The Like you said, there's turmeric, ginger, and cinnamon added. Um, so we often suggest goat's milk when your dog has an upset belly um, or there's something else going on with your the digestive system just because the ginger can be so settling. Um, and I'm so glad you mentioned too, like pasteurized milk versus um, what you guys offer is unfiltered, unpasteurized. So most dogs, most dogs and cats actually do really well with the raw milk and that because that's because it already has a lactose enzyme in it to help break it down. Where the myth or the misconception is, is if you give your dogs or cats milk and they get diarrhea, that's because of the store-bought milk. So you never want to actually use pasteurized, it's almost like dead milk at that point. It doesn't really actually have a nutritional value to it. And that that is what leads to more digestive issues, diarrhea, um, things like that, that people don't like dealing with because it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, and I also forgot to mention, we do add extra probiotics to our goat milk. So um, the CFU count for every ounce of goat milk is 5 billion, which is extremely high. Awesome, um, um, that's fantastic. Yeah, so you could use this um, in replace of like a probiotic supplement for those pickier pets, this is a good option. Yeah, I've even had uh, customers tell me where their dogs, like they'll use it as a bedtime snack where their dogs actually go and paw at the refrigerator at night because they want that. <laughs> they know that they know that sometimes it makes them feel better or it's just, it's like us, you know, if you get, if you're acting like you're hungry, you feel hungry and you drink some water and it kind of fills you up, um, the goat milk can kind of do that as well. And then do you know off the, off, offhand how many calories per ounce? 37. Okay. So it's not high calorie. And then how much fat? Is the fat content high? Um, I have it right here in front of me. Fat is 7%. Okay. So um, that would still be safe to feed like a dog with pancreatitis or a dog, you know, sometimes the pancreatitis dogs, we typically recommend anything under 10% fat. But if you have a dog that has a pancreatitis attack, most often they don't want food and they just want liquid. So that's a way to keep them hydrated is by using the goat's milk. I love it. Perfect. What is our next option to build our bowl? Next option is going to be bone broth. 
And I'll pull up the slide here. Yay. Oh, that's, there it is. So bone broth is really, really awesome. So along with being like super flavorful and pets really liking the taste of it, it has a lot of really amazing health benefits that go along with it. Um, it's super rich in collagen. So if you guys have ever used the bone broth or you do try it, when you thaw it out, it's actually pretty thick in like almost like an applesauce consistency. Um, that's because it's full of collagen and prolin, which give all kinds of health benefits for your pets. So um, hips and joints, this makes it a really good option for those senior pets or those large breed pets. Um, this will actually kind of go in and help add in some cushioning between the hips and the joints where things can start to wear out. Um, there's some good glucosamine and chondroitin in there as well. Um, it's great for the liver and the immune system. And it's also really good for pets with allergies. It actually can help um, heal their gut a little bit and add some protection in there that can be really beneficial for pets that are having allergies or itchy skin. This is a great option. Plus it's that added moisture. Perfect. And then, um, so that you had shown beef. So what are the different flavors that the bone broth comes in? So it comes in beef, chicken, turkey, and pork. Perfect. Um, and that I know, I already know what the fat content is. I think the fat content's like a half a percent in almost all the flavors. Um, so well. that would be an excellent option for keeping your pet hydrated or using it with um, a, a dog that might have pancreatitis issues. It's also great if you have like a senior dog and you need to warm it. So, you know, add it into the food that's already there. They need the aroma or something like that to actually um, like have an appetite stimulant almost. So. Yeah, and we always recommend that you put it in a saucepan on the stove and do it, just uh, heat it up till it starts to steam. You don't want to actually add any more heat to it than that because it'll kind of start to kill off all the good things in there. So. Sure, sure. Good to know. Um, and then, and it's pet safe. So a lot of people don't, you know, when we make homemade bone broth, we add the aromatics and we want the onions and all the, the herbs that go with it where um, that is not always a pet safe option. So obviously you guys are making it um, without those items and making it pet safe. Um, it's great for cats and dogs. And I totally agree with you. It's like super gelatinous. <laughs> when, you, when you pour it out, you can totally, uh, it's, 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 it's definitely a different consistency than maybe like your homemade bone broth. <laughs> Right, or even like the shelf stable bone broth. People always are like, this is not how it's supposed to be. That's all the health benefits you get in there. So Yeah, of course. I know um, Dr. Cole and I, we've done some live interviews and we talk about collagen all the time. Um, older dogs, senior dogs, hip and joint issues. Um, I actually recently started taking collagen um, daily in one of my morning drinks and it's made a big difference in the way my knees feel and getting out of bed. And I can only imagine if we actually gave that to our dogs every day, especially large breed dogs, they would probably feel a lot better too. Yeah, because as we age, we actually produce a lot less collagen. So it's important to supplement it even in our pets. So this is a great way. And they typically love the bone broth. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and so... Is it safe to add like into a bowl of kibble? So say somebody doesn't actually feed raw, is it safe to add into just a bowl with dry food for your pet? Yeah, absolutely. So most of our products are a raw product, but the bone broth is actually slowly simmered. So this is also a good option for people that are looking for fresh food, but maybe not a raw food. This is a good option for that. Awesome. Um, and then right now during Raw Fest, we actually have bone broth for $4.99. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. awesome promotion. Yeah. So up to six, um, you could actually get bone broth for $4.99. So there's a limit of six, but that is a great way to a great time to, to try it. So great promotional price. All right. And I think we have a few more options. So let's move on to the next one. Yeah. So next up, let's see what we got here. Oops. There it is. We have our elixirs. Uh, so there's three different elixirs. We'll talk. Can you share the screen? I'm sorry, I don't have. We don't have. Oh, it not share. Nope, not yet. There it is. There it is. Okay. 
perfect. The first elixir is the winter squash elixir. This one is really, really awesome. So I know a lot of people tend to use a canned pumpkin if they're having issues and they're looking to add a boost of fiber to their pet's diet. Uh, this is kind of like uh, an all around awesome way to incorporate that fiber, but getting a lot of other health benefits along with it. Um, we chose to use butternut squash in our elixir because it's a little bit lower glycemic than pumpkin. Um, and then we add in chia seeds. So together you get a nice soluble fiber and the prebiotic fiber from those two. Um, this is really good for um, any type of digestive upset, whether it be like vomiting or dogs are having loose stool. This can actually go in and help um, nourish the gut, firm that stool and increase the regularity while it feeds the microbiome. This also has the cinnamon, the ginger, and the turmeric added. So you get all those anti-inflammatories, those stomach settling um, ingredients in there. Plus we add in the probiotics from the goat milk. So it all combined is like just a really good boost to help make a healthy GI tract. Um, and what's really cool about all three of the elixirs is they have a base of the bone broth. So along with getting the elixir benefit, you also get that bone broth benefit as well. That's awesome. Um, do you have do you have slides for the other two flavors? Can we talk Dear about that? Yeah, let's talk about the other two flavors too. So, I, I totally agree with you. I love you know if you're looking for something to mix in uh, either in your dry bowl or something to help with digestion, you got the probiotics. I mean, it's just like this nice powerhouse. Plus, plus you have the uh, bone broth, which helps with the and joint. Yeah, they're really, really awesome. Um, so the next one is the green smoothie. So this one is designed to give your pet a really good immunity boost. So it's full of some dark leafy greens like kale and parsley where you get a lot of good antioxidants from. Um, this one also has the chia seeds added for fiber, coconut oil and sardine oil. So you get support for a healthy body and some um, omega fatty acids in there. And then on top of all of those, this one has seven medicinal mushrooms added. Um, so those mushrooms that are in there have been known to help with weight loss. Um, some of them are cancer fighting agents. They've been known to fight infection sh and shrink tumors. Plus then on top of that, we also put in the probiotics and the turmeric as well. So you get more digestive support and anti-inflammatory. I love it. Yeah. So this There's so many cool. awesome things in the green smoothie. And most dogs like... It's funny. It's people. We don't like the bitter greens. <laughs> it definitely takes like a, a taste test or you have to like bitters to go down that road. But our dogs don't, you know, we inundate ourselves with sugar so then bitters are really bitter. Well, our dogs typically don't do that. So bitter to them as it is, is terrible, but um, yeah. love the green smoothie. That one's a fan favorite at the store for sure. Yeah, that one's really cool because you can use that one for dogs that even like, if you think about if you're taking them to the dog park or day camp or boarding, just anywhere that they're exposed to a bunch of other dogs on a regular basis, this is just a really good way to keep them healthy and so they don't kind of like pick up anything while they're at those different places. Sure. Something else that just popped in my head when you said the word dog park is I bet this would be, I don't know if you've heard of anyone using it for dogs that eat grass. Yes. To see that, you know, they're craving the greens or they're trying to alkalize their system or the carb load and the kibble is just too high. So I could see where the, the green smoothie elixir would be really great for the dogs that are excessively eating grass. Yeah. I actually had somebody today tell me that they were using it for that and it had com their dog had completely stopped eating grass. So, wow. That's cool. So, definitely worth a try. Plus, you get all those little cool health benefits from it. Yeah. Awesome. And then there's a third one. We have a third, third one. Let's see, we'll pull it up here. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not it. There it is. <laughs> so we have our muscle melange. Um, so this one was designed for extra joint health. Um, this one's really awesome because it's full of muscles. Uh, muscles are a good source of glucosamine and chondroitin for our pets. Um, along with the muscles in there, we have omega-3 fatty acids, which is also really great for hips and joints, plus turmeric, apple cider vinegar. Um, those two combined are support for a healthy skeletal system and anti-inflammatories. Um, so this one's a really good just boost for any pet that might have any hip or joint issues. Plus, it's a great source of taurine as well. That's fantastic. So in this one, too, if you have a dog that's more picky, 
and they want um, like something meaty added to their food. I could see where the squash or the green, the greens get me, kind of, especially with a finicky pup. Um, but the mussels melange, that one like flies out our store. So that one I think has been very well received with pups because of the, the kind of, and it's not, it's fishy, but it's not fishy like the sardine smell fishy. So that's awesome. I love it. That one is by far my pet's favorite. They will eat it right out of the container. <laughs> All right. So those are ways to build a bowl. So can you tell us a little bit more about um, Primal's thought process about the build a bowl or build your butter bowl and how that can improve um, our pets, cat and dog, uh, improve their overall health? Yeah, so at Primal, we know that um, a lot of people aren't looking to feed like a full raw diet. Um, it might be too expensive or it's just a lot of work for some people. So our idea was to give everybody options to just add to what they're already feeding to make it really easy for them. Um, some pets don't do well with change. So if you're just adding something, it can be um, really beneficial without that change. Um, fresh food is just so important for our pets. Um, just the way their body digests food, adding fresh can help a lot. It can help speed up the digestive process and help fix their gut and have help any issues that they're having. Um, so we designed all of our add-on products to be added right to what you're already feeding their pet just to boost their bowl and give them some fresh in their life. I always explain it like um, a bowl of kibble would be like you eating a bowl of cereal every day. You could add something to your cereal or add something fresh in would be like adding a salad into your bowl. Um, your pets probably are really going to enjoy having something added to their bowl. Yeah, no, that's totally a great analogy. The dry cereal. So it's not even eating, it's not even eating cereal, it's eating dried Cheerios every day. <laughs> and then you decide to take and add some milk to it and it's greatly enhances your experience <laughs> of eating your cereal. Yeah. And that's when you take it a step further and decide to cut up some like fresh bananas or strawberries in it. And then you're like, no, nah, we're talking. <laughs> yeah, and our pets don't have the ability to eat whatever they want. They just eat what they're given. So it's up to us to give them those fresh options. Right. So with Primal, I love the fact that you guys have such a like wide range and variety for the customer. Um, and the pet owner to choose whether they want just a little bit or they want to go uh, a little bit more with a little bit more gusto or half and half, or you could do full raw. Uh, so if you could just tell us some quick benefits, um, I know you and I could probably do a quick fire back and forth of a bullet point list of how long of what the benefits are of raw feeding, but I'd love to hear your input. Um, so when you feed raw, you're going to have like less shedding, you're going to have a healthier coat, you'll have smaller stool, less stinky stool. That's actually a really good benefit to feeding cats raw, especially since they go to their house and <laughs> litter boxes don't smell. That's my yeah. favorite. <laughs> um, and then it's just biologically appropriate. So you get less issues. You typically won't see pets with hot spots or allergies, things like that. They're just healthier all around because it's what their body actually wants and needs to be healthy. It's what pets ate in the wild. So um, less ear infections. I know that's a common one. A lot of dogs have ear infections. Anything um, when they're eating like carbs and starches, it produces yeast in their body. So any type of yeast issues can be solved by switching them to a raw diet typically. Yeah, better breath, better teeth. Yeah. That's usually something that's commented on. I totally, I'm <laughs> totally usually like get somebody to try raw when I tell them I have six cats and I have no idea when they poop in my house. <laughs> They're like, wait, what? <laughs> that's the best selling point. <laughs> um, Plus you see a lot smaller stool too. And a lot of times it, um, pretty much like crumbles in your yard and you have less like stool to pick up for dogs. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, even less butt scooting. So dogs that have like a lot of anal gland issues, I feel like that helps um, clear that up. Um, for like skin and coat, I think we get commented. I mean, God, you know how many times Kyanga gets commented about how soft she is. Um, yeah. So that makes a big difference with their skin and coat. Um, yeah, goodness, the list goes on, right? So I would say um, any any option or any amount of raw that you can add, even if you buy bone broth or goat milk and you add it twice a week, you know, any amount, like I like we were saying, like how can you 
how can you enhance the dry cereal bowl? What what can you do to elevate that? And picky, picky, picky animals. Yes, picky pets it can actually help with like weight loss too or weight gain for pets that need higher protein or less. This is a really good option. Um, and uh, pets with uh, like UTIs, this can be really beneficial. Oh, yes. Moisture. Yep, especially kitty. kitties um, that have already had blockages or UTI issues, bladder stones that can always be beneficial. Um, and the other thing that I think about often with cats is like IBD, uh, some sort of irritable bowel syndrome disease, you name it, that uh, raw food can usually really help um, correct that or at least eliminate most often the struggles and frustrations of dealing with stool all the time. Absolutely. Usually a lot less vet visits if you feed raw to your pets. Yeah. <laughs> um, are there any other different options that we have from Primal that we can use for our dogs and cats? We do have our new toppers that we just launched. Yeah. Let's talk about those. You got a slide? I do. Let me pull it up for you guys. So the next one here is the butcher's blend. So those of you who are familiar with the primal mixes and grinds previously, they've basically just rebranded them. They're still the exact same formulas that they previously were. Uh, but the butcher's blend here uh, is a meat, organ, and bone topper for your pet's bowl. It's not complete and balanced, so it is designed to be used up to 30% of their diet. Um, but this is a really great way to start incorporating that fresh into their diet. Um, these are really awesome because they're super cost effective. So this little two pound bag is only $5 a pound. Um, you're still getting all of the really awesome high quality meat that Primal uses in all of their formulas. So it's going to be free range, um, grass fed, no added antibiotic hormones or steroids, um, really high quality human grade meat. Um, this one is really great for those picky pets because they're all single source protein and it's literally just meat, bone, and organ added. Um, or allergy pets, this is a good option for. Um, and you and can, it looks like there's six flavors. So there's yeah. a variety. So if you do have a picky dog, you could rotate between the flavors too to give them variety and options. Yeah, and this one's really great for cats too because we know cats are able to get carnivores and need a high meat content in their diet. Mm -hmm. Great. And they're little tiny, they're the pronto, they're the little tiny squares. So if you guys have never seen these before, they're literally a quarter, like a quarter inch by a quarter inch cube. So any super teeny dog or cat could eat these, even if you feel like that they're still too big, to take a fork and mash them after they're um, thawed. So the cool thing is you can take out as much or as little as you want. So you could throw the bag in your freezer and you could take out just a couple morsels or you could take out a handful or you could thaw the whole thing and use it up within five days. Yeah, and these are awesome because they thaw really quickly. So it's always good to keep like on hand if you forget to thaw. This is a great- Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then- so this one replaced the mix um, for those people because I, I know you guys sold a lot at your store. Um, yes. But a lot of the other stores didn't do so well with them. So we came up with this. So it makes it a lot easier because those big chubs could be kind of a mess in your fridge. <laughs> cool. Other one is the market mix. So this one took over for the mix. So this is, again, that meat, organ, and bone plus 15% produce added. Um, by adding that produce, you get a lot of extra vitamins and minerals and antioxidants added um, that are just really beneficial for our pets. This one comes in a five pound bag. Um, and again, it's still $5 a pound. So a really good way to add that fresh food right to your pet's diet. Um, this is great for people with maybe larger breed pets that um, you can use this as a third of their diet. So for every cup of food, you can add a third of a cup of this right over top. Um, and again, it's like that analogy of adding that milk to the cereal, adding something fresh to make it a little bit more enjoyable for your pet. Um, and right. and, and then it has six flavors, flavors it looks like. Yep, same six flavors. And these ones are all single source. Um, this is my favorite because of the sardine. Um, those of you who have ever fed the sardine chubs, it's very stinky, but this is a good way to thaw just a little bit at a time so you don't have to smell that 
huge hunk of sardine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> my whole house smelled. I got, I had like used the last of my chugs last week and the whole house smelled like sardine. <laughs> I know, Liz and I love it now. We always argue like, what smells in the house longer, tripe or sardines? <laughs> like a good test. <laughs> yeah, we're about even. <laughs> All right, perfect. Um, so that covers all the ways that people could um, elevate their kibble options for their cats or dogs, or you could incorporate different ways to build your bowl um, and incorporate fresh food so your dog or cat's just not eating dry cereal every day. Um, overall, though, product overview. Um, so you guys have obviously the, the Pronto or the, the mixers and the, the blends we just saw are for supplemental feeding. So that's to add into what you're already feeding. Uh, but you guys do have complete and balanced raw diets um, to come in nuggets, patties, and a bunch of different sizes. That is for both cat and dog. Um, you guys have freeze-dried food options. So why don't you tell us a little bit about freeze-dried and treats? I think those kind of get overlooked sometimes. Yeah, so freeze-dried is actually a complete and balanced diet, so you can feed it on its own. Uh, our freeze-dried comes in nugget form, so they're little one-ounce nuggets. Um, we just always recommend that you add a little bit of moisture back to those so that your pet um, gets that moisture added back in. They're also really amazing as a topper. Um, you can just sprinkle a couple over what you're already feeding, and it's a really good flavor enticer for your pets. Most pets will do anything for the freeze dried. It's very popular at my house. They see that bag and they're just like ready to go whenever I ask. Um, but it is the exact same formula as our complete and balanced frozen, just the water is removed. So it also is a good option for people that feed a raw diet and are maybe going hiking or going on. This is a great option to take with you because you're not changing their diet. Awesome. Love it. Yeah. Um, and then you guys have some treats. So what are the, so what are treat options? We do. So we have our chips, which is like a jerky style round circular treat, probably about like an inch, inch and a half round. Um, those are really great because it's very single source ingredient. So if you're doing chicken, it's like chicken, sea salt and honey typically are what are in those. And we have beef, chicken, and I want to say pork chips and then we have our liver munchies yeah <laughs> liver munchies so we have our turkey pork and beef liver munchies those are just liver and they're freeze-dried treats those are super palatable and most dogs and cats actually love those um, again really high reward treat for training if you're getting a puppy or you are doing obedience classes those are a really good option um, and then the, the well, you guys have the nibs. The nibs are are going away, but those were really awesome, like small training treat. So yes. maybe there's something new on the horizon that we don't know about, but or you might know about. And I don't know. About. <laughs> As of now, I haven't heard anything. But the nibs and the chips are the exact same formula. So if you were doing nibs before, you could cut the little chips up or break them apart. They break easily. Great information. Do you guys have the snaps at your store? Like the I don't. Okay. So cool. Um, anything else that you think we're missing that needs to be touched on for the product highlight? I think we got everything. I'm trying to go through everything in the store. I think I think we talked about quite a bit as well. Um, perfect. So moving on to questions. Currently, we don't have any comments, but if there's anybody watching us, if you guys have any questions about raw or raw feeding. Um, Caitlin and I are both pretty uh, seasoned raw feeders, so I learned about raw feeding and we started feeding our family dog raw in uh 1998 <laughs> you can believe that um and then since i got my first dog sasha um i've been wholeheartedly a raw feeder um well on my own that was in 2000 and two three two is when I got her. Good Lord, I don't even remember now. <laughs> so, and then I had greyhounds, and now we're, we have the Bengals and Savannah cats, and those guys are all raw fed. Um, how long have you been feeding raw, Caitlin? Um, so, I first learned about raw about nine years ago. My very first dog job, I worked at um, a dog kennel, and 
the owner actually was feeding all the rescue dogs there raw. And I was like, what is this? Um, <laughs> I had a very sick little Shih Tzu mix that had all types of skin and coat issues. And we immediately switched them to raw. And then ever since I fed mostly raw diets to all of my pets. So all three of my dogs are raw fed. The oldest dog I have now is six. And she's been raw fed for the past five years since I adopted her. Love it. That's awesome. Um, and then, so is it ever too late to switch your dog to raw? No. <laughs> you can always switch your pet to raw. You'll start to see all sorts of benefits if you switch over. Um, and the one thing, the other thing that I love about raw is that you can first reduce the carb load. Um, so, you know, if you have, like, when you feed a dry food, that, and there's nothing wrong with feeding a dry food, it's just day in and day out. Um, you still have to have like a binder. It still has to put something, you know, the, the pieces still have to go together. And then you'd be scooping a bag of powder to give your dog every day. Um, mm -hmm. so sometimes that can affect weight gain. It can affect um, like dogs that are maybe overweight and are heading into diabetes, which cats get that too. Um, so sometimes taking the carbs out of the diet um, can help. Uh, we can also take out inflammatory ingredients, so we can remove potato, wheat, corn, soy, all of those things don't exist in primal, uh, which can help with older arthritic dogs. So when you take out the inflammatory ingredients, that can help reduce the inflammation load in the body, which makes them feel better. And then if you get some of their awesome bone broth on board, do an even more awesome thing with the hips and joints. Um, Cats specifically, when you feed only a dry food, they end up like chronically dehydrated. Um, I don't know if you have any good cat stories. I know we have plenty, but um, I don't know if you have any. I've, I've seen cats that switch over to raw and they want nothing to do with dry food anymore. They're ready, ready to move. So um, I, I just think there's like so many benefits. It's, it's almost like and dogs get so excited. Yes. <laughs> you can see them smile. They're like, is that for me? Is that for me? <laughs> uh, we have plenty of fun photos of customers with their dogs that are just super excited to eat that maybe had never been excited to eat or mm -hmm. let their, sit, their food like sit in the bowl all day and they, they eat their food like when the owner goes to bed. It's almost like, I guess I'll go eat this. <laughs> Um, what other stories have you heard about people switching to raw or transitioning to raw? Um, I will say I once was doing um, like a demo at a store and this lady walked in. She had two little like smaller fluffy dogs and we all know that those are usually the very picky dogs. And I was like, oh, can I give them a treat? And she's like, I can't let you because they just embarrass me. They don't eat treats. And then I just, I'm embarrassed. And I was like, just, it's fine. And I had a freeze dried little nugget in my hand and I kind of just like, bent down and her dog started like jumping all over me and she's like, what is going on? I said, oh, it's just this tree I wanted to give them. And they inhaled it in the store and she's like, they've never eaten anything anywhere besides at home. And wow. it's completely sold ever since. And she's, I still talk to her and she's like, that is the best thing that I could have ever done. My dogs eat all of their food now. I don't feel like they're starving. I'm not buying all sorts of different options, trying to get them to eat something, 10 different canned foods and things like that. They eat their little freeze dried nuggets and they are very happy. So that's an awesome story. Yeah. yeah really awesome. Those picky pets. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing I love is that you can actually really narrow down the ingredient panel. So you can get to one protein, no added chicken fat or eggs or like some of these sneaky ingredients that get in there. Uh, even the vitamin and mineral packs that are, are pretty much eliminated. So you're not dealing with synthetics added. So those can all make like a really big difference for dogs that have gut dysbiosis and leaky gut and allergies, you know, galore and all of those things that come along with that. So yeah, that's the nice part about Primal. Whatever protein it says on the front of the bag is the only protein that's in that formula. So you don't have to worry about reading through and seeing if there's something in there that your pet can't have. And that's we awesome. We have for a dog, we only have one that's mixed protein, and that's the turkey and sardine. And then for cat, we have chicken and salmon and beef and salmon, but all the rest are single source. Fantastic. Um, and then I think we pretty much carry 
most everything that Primal has. So we have a pretty big lineup. Um, if you're interested, you can always check out the petinstore.com. So we do have all of our items listed online, even our frozen items. So if you're local and you are within our delivery zone, we do deliver frozen food, including Primal's options. Um, otherwise, there's curbside pickup and, of course, in-store shopping. We are open for in-store shopping right now. Uh, really fantastic products. We love Primal. Primal, like I said, they've been pretty much um, part of our business since we opened our, our retail shop in 2007. And I know every time you guys are innovative, which is fun, too. You guys are always coming out with new products and um, trying different, trying to get people involved in their, their pet feeding and their pet's nutrition in different ways. So that's always fantastic. Yeah. Anything you think we missed tonight? I think we did a good job covering most of it. Yeah, I think we got everything. Perfect. Well, if anybody has any ideas for Caitlin and I, or you guys would like to uh, talk about another topic or other primal products or something more in depth, please leave it in the comments below. We'll make sure that we circle back around and either follow up with that or we'll um, take your considerations in for our next next uh, primal interview. So well, we have one quick, one quick uh, comment here. Teresa says, I love giving my dogs a Primal Nuggets. They are so convenient and my dogs love them. Thank you for sharing that. So that is very true. They're very um, travel friendly. I love that you mentioned backpacking or camping or whatever it is. Like if you feed frozen, you still have an option to take with you without taking an extra cooler for the dogs. <laughs> yeah, actually I took my puppy on the boat last weekend and he still eats like lunch. So we just took some freeze dried in a little container and threw some water in and he was good to go on the boat. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, thank you for sharing, Teresa. That's fantastic. So um, I'm so glad you were able to join us tonight, Caitlin. I think we covered quite a bit and we'll, uh, we'll have to do it again. Yeah, thank you again for having me. Awesome, have a great night guys.